So let's build a marketing page. I'm going to start on the left hand side. I'm going to scroll down to the internet marketing section right here, and I'm going to go ahead and pick marketing pages. That's going to load the section on the, the page and I can go ahead and select new and that's going to load a template. And so you can see they've given us a bunch of templates we can choose from, which is really, really handy. You don't have to use these. You can go ahead and skip this in the bottom right. But if you would prefer, you can pick any one of these templates. This looks like a pretty simplistic one for the purposes of this example. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one and I'm going to say select. That's going to load that template into place. And now we can get to work customizing and configuring this form. So the first thing I want to do, I want to get rid of this logo. I don't need that. I'm going to put our logo right here. I'm going to click on that box. I'm going to select the image gallery and I'm going to go ahead and pick one of our preloaded assets. Now for the purposes of this example, we just have the one, but you could have a bunch of different assets loaded in here and you could pick and choose based on whatever it is you're designing. In this case, I'm going to use this logo. I'm going to go ahead and select. Now you can see that's given it to us in really big form. So I want to shrink that down just a touch. So I'm going to bring it down to about that size. And so that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and move it into the middle. So I'm going to say that that's probably about 200. That looks almost smack dab in the middle. So that looks good for now. The next thing I want to do is I want to change this green color in the background because that's not one of our C5 colors. I want to go ahead and input this color. I know that's our favorite C5 blue. So I'm going to leave that in place. I think that has some nice pop element to it there. So that's going to look stand out on a page. Now I want to edit our text. So this is not going to be a newsletter. I'm going to say, thanks for stopping by. And so this is actually going to go on our website and people can land on this page. And what I want to do with that information or what I want them to do rather is I want them to fill in a very brief form that gives me their first last name and email address. So that's what we would do with a marketing form. And so we've got pre-built marketing forms and you'll notice if I go to the right hand side, I can go to my toolbox and this is our drag and drop editor. So I can actually add text here, add images. I can add a button for something. In this specific scenario, I wanna add a form and I'm gonna bring that down right here. And so it's gonna load a placeholder for that form. So you can see add marketing form and it's giving me a box here on the right to say which form. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick the simple form and that's just first, last, and email address with a submit and a clear button. So pre-built form already available. It actually comes with the trial environment. So I already had to build that in there. I just had to activate it and we're ready to roll. And so this is to join our newsletter. And so perhaps our text in here might say something, you know, like, hey, thanks for stopping by. We're, we'd really like to get to know you better. Why don't you join our mailing list and we'll keep you updated with all the exciting things we have to offer or something like that. And so we would fill in that text here. For speed of this example, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as it is. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And so when I try and save, you'll notice the first thing it's going to say to me is, wait a minute, we can't because you're missing your partial URL. And so the partial URL is the tail end of the URL that people will see when they go. So if they're on your web page, for example, for ours, it would be the c5insight.com page. And if they land on this, it would, the tail end, whatever the partial URL is, the tail end of that URL is going to be whatever we enter here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in right here. And that's just going to be called, uh, let's call this the thanks page. And so now let's also rename this to the thanks page. I'm going to use the exact same thing so that it's consistent in our own system. And that's just the nomenclature that we'll have for this specific form as we go through. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and save this page. So once we've saved it, we can actually go ahead and and turn this page on. So it's gone ahead, it's checked for errors. I'm going to go ahead and activate this form. And so I'm going to say okay to the message on the page. It's just telling me that cookies will be tracked. And so that's fine. And we are now publishing and we're now in business. And so as soon as that happens, it's going to actually give us a full page URL that we can now append and embed on our page. And what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and click it from here. It's actually going to load that page. 
and you can see we've got our information page just right here now obviously there's you know at first glance this is not quite the way i'd like it i'd like a little more space at the top it's actually not quite perfectly centered as far as i can tell so i'd tweak that a little bit maybe play with the language make it more engaging but really quick and easy to get a marketing page spun up put in place and now we've got this ready for publishing now i can actually even show you how this works so i'm going to go ahead and say uh, malcolm test and I'm going to go ahead and put in a test email. You can, sell, you can tell I've done this before. And so let's just say test two. I'm going to go ahead and submit that. It's going to say thank you. I can reload the page. It's cleared it out for me. Now, the reason I wanted to show you that is let's flip back into our environment. Let's go back to contacts. And now, because I've submitted that form, which is a live form, right? It's out on the, the internet and available, and it would be on our webpage. I now have the ability to collect that information and have it flow into Dynamics immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and you can see we've got Malcolm Test right here. This is the record we just created, right? Malcolm Test 2 at test2.fake. And so that took the information from that web form, put it in here right away. So that's really handy. What else is really handy about this? We actually have the ability to look at some information with respect to the insights that are collected. So I'm actually going to use one we created the other day for this. It's called Newsletter Welcome. Same premise that the form is going to look almost exactly the same. But we actually shared this around our office and had people share it and click it. And you can see it's tracked a number of different metrics on that that form. So we've got how many times is it visited, how many unique visits, right? So it's actually being, it's actually keeping track of people who have visited it. And if they come back to it again, it's, it's identifying them as a return visit versus a unique visit, how many submissions, right? So how many people went in ahead and filled in that form and submitted it, what that conversion rate, how many new leads have been created and so on. So great insights. And this is all out of the box, right? This is based on the form, just as the, the exact same process that you just saw me go through on screen is what we did to publish this form. And we put it on our website and boom, we started collecting insights immediately. So really, really powerful stuff. That's a really simplistic example. You saw the list of templates. There's all kinds of landing pages that we can create there, different kinds of marketing pages we can spin up. So lots, lots to play around with. You can actually go ahead and get yourself your own trial of Dynamics 365 marketing and play around with these features as well and start to spin stuff up. And it, get, it doesn't take long to start to become really creative with these tools because there's a lot of capability built into the out-of-the-box function. If you have any more questions about what this tool can do for you, please feel free to reach out to C5 Insight. Thanks for watching.